Hey guys, coming to you from beautiful Lake Onalaska in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, gonna be targeting a mixed bag of panfish. Let's see how today pans out. All right guys, a little bit better one. Yeah, there we go. Decent sized perch, probably just below eater size. That was kind of interesting. The first perch, I just was letting it sit on the bottom. I wasn't even jigging it. So let's see if that becomes a pattern. Seems like the fish are turning on here, guys. There we go. Little perch. Definitely the attitude of the fish has changed in the last, I'd say, 15 minutes or so. Very aggressive. Coming up off the bottom. I'd like to find a little bit better sized here. Well, guys, the most largemouth bass I've ever seen. <laughs> hey guys, uh, moved to spot two this afternoon. Um, spot one was pretty good. A uh, couple keeper sized uh, perch and a couple really nice bluegill in there. Um, Spot two just pulled up on it, caught a couple nice fish, so we're gonna camp out here for a while, see what happens. Um, seems like fish are really keen on, keen in on this uh, white, and it glows in the dark. Uh, that's been the favorite color today. Really small, so let's catch some more fish. been just tipping it with uh, red waxy or red spikes and uh, just uh, waxies too seems like they don't have a preference getting a riser here guys Size gill right there. There we go. Another nice gill yeah. right there, you guys. About that. That one was weird. It uh, chased it up, then I dropped it down, and I just let it sit there. Changed up the bait too, it seemed like they were getting used to just that white one. It's just weird, it's just like pack after pack come through. It's like they're coming through in waves. Ooh, that one's a good one. That one's a real good deal. Oh yeah. Size. Boy, is the girlfriend gonna be happy tonight. It was at least a less aggressive fish. I just dead stick it. That seems to be working with those guys. Yep. Less aggressive fish, dead stick and worked. Beautiful on Alaska gill. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Days like today will build your confidence for the rest of the year. figures I start talking about just catching all bluegills and catch perch. What a fun day on the ice. Boss 
gave me the day off today, so we're just enjoying this Tuesday. Not too many guys out here. Normally it's super packed. That's awesome. Got one on one here. It's around with a rod. And this one's a good fish. Wow. Absolutely great fight. Come on. There's one. Got one on another one. Got one. Absolute bulldog of a gill. I mean, that's a eight and a half inch gill there. I think that's the second biggest of the day. These are the ones that I like to throw back. I mean. Those ones, those ones keep the fishery going, guys. Be thrown in back. They're absolutely just stacked down there. Fantastic. This is fantastic pan fishing. There they go. Oh, absolutely crushed. Big, big fish. Look at that fish. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Gonna release this one. So just a little tip for you guys, if you forget your live well or don't have one, um, what I do is I, I drill a hole nice and I use my spud bar. Um, I, I leave about two inches of ice and then hit my spud bar with the rest of it and I just let the water filter up. It's just a easy way to uh, keep your fre fish fresh and it's just a nice little live well. Like there was a perch I caught earlier that I threw back. And uh, yeah, just a little tip. Come on, there we go. Number nine, need one more. Get into double digits, if I count straight. Do it. Be our one. Oh yeah. And how about that? Blend it with that crappie. I'll take it. Beautiful crappie. What a day. Outstanding day here on Lake Alaska. Caught a mixed bag. I mean, caught crappies. Caught some nice perch. I mean, the bluegill fishing fishing was tremendous. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better day than, than today. Um, I mean, putting 10 keepers on the ice this afternoon, I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, probably could have put some more on, but I, I like let, letting those big big ones go, those big bull bluegills. Um, anyone can do this. I mean, if you're in the state of Wisconsin or, or even nearby the state of Wisconsin, Lake on Alaska, the backwaters are absolutely tremendous fisheries. Um, if you're looking for a budget option um, for lodging, the Microtel in on Alaska, I think it's like anywhere from 50, 50 to $60 a night. Um, it's a way to do a cheap DIY budget trip here. Um, I just had a day off work. I drove a couple hours to get over here and uh, fishing couldn't be much better. I didn't even get a chance to throw tip-ups out, so and there are some big pike in here, so hopefully we got some more content coming for you guys. Thanks for watching.